Hi, hello everyone. Welcome again to my channel, The Creative Agile IT. So in today's video, I'm going to show how we can forecast project work uh, in Azure DevOps using Velocity. And uh, so there is a feature in Azure DevOps which we call forecasting. So how we can use it, in what scenarios it could be useful for us. So we will learn about it. So let us start. So I'm sharing uh, the Scrum Project 24, which I have created in Azure DevOps Labs. So if I give you an overview, so if I, if I click on overview, so this is kind of a brief overview of this particular project. Uh, the Scrum Project 24, the different work items and the boards. Now uh, let us uh, look at the board. So if I bring the mouse to the board, we can see, you know, these are the different options that we can navigate to. Let's try to click on the backlog. Okay, so this is what our backlog consists of. And if I want to expand the view, I can simply click on this one to kind of like expand the view. Now, let us look at, you know, what all epics we have created here. So these are the set of epics that I have created in the Scrum Project 24. Uh, so we have epic like user management, online payments, DevOps setup, customer orders, customer dashboard, and customer membership. And for the members who are new, we can always go here in the new work item, and we can you know define the epic as well, right? Now, if I want to see uh, what all these epic, each one of these epic consists of, so if yeah, I can simply click on this one, it will expand. So this user management epic, it consists of four features, which are user login, forgot username, forgot password, and the user profile. Now, if I want to see what this feature user login consists of, so I can simply click on this one, and this consists of the user login story, and as well as user sign out. Similarly, forgot username, it consists of the forgot username user story, forgot password, consists of forgot password, send time password user story, and the change password as well right and then we have user profile as well so this is the hierarchy that i am using in this project so at the top we have epic then epic consists of the features which the end users or the customers are going to use and then we have feature getting realized or implemented through set of user stories now uh, another view that i can show to you guys is if i click on the stories so these are the set of stories and you guys can see that you know our team we can say or you know just for the you know since this is a sample project all the work in the user story has been estimated using the story points so we are using the fibonacci series like where the scale start from one two three five and then it goes to the three plus five is equal to eight so these are the set of user story and uh, if i show you the project settings so we can come here we can click on the project setting and we can click on the project configuration and so these are the sprints which we have defined and uh, so so far we have defined 10 sprints so we are starting our sprint from 29th of january and it's a two weeks of a sprint and it goes like that right so uh, each of the sprints are following the same cadence of two weeks now let's go back to our backlogs right and if i if i can show you guys this is our sprint view where we can see that you know the sprint is planned but it is not started as such right and now coming to the backlogs so this is our backlog view and uh, we can see that you know we can select the epics from here so it will give us you know what all epics we have defined in our backlog we can select the features from here so it will show like you know what all features we have defined in our backlog and similarly we can also see the stories so let's say you know we are using the stories view and we want to see you know what all these user stories are part of so what we can do is we can say you know show us the parent so we can enable the parent so now we can see that for each of the user story it is showing the parent as well as the super super parent in the form of epic right now uh we want to learn about you know how we can forecast so let's say you know we have got our backlog ready and we want to predict the number of sprints it will take to implement the set of user story we have in our product backlog right i mean we just want to get a start with the agile form of you know working in the sprints and we want to find out like how many sprints will it take for our particular work that we have identified right so what we can do is uh, this is the forecasting feature so what we have to do is in order to enable it we have to turn the parents off because you know we want to forecast uh, on the basis of stories and it's the stories only whichever team works during the sprint so i mean when we 
do the sprint planning we do not try to bring the epic in our sprint we do not try to bring the features in our sprint all our team works on is the set of user story so they plan they commit and they finish the user story implementation during the sprint so that's why this feature is at a stories level so what we have done is we have set the parents off and we have enabled the forecasting so now this is what the forecasting is all about so it says automatically by default it says like forecasting based on the velocity of 10 so i do have a video uh, on the velocity i will paste the link of that video in the description as well please do watch if you want to get familiar about you know what the velocity is all about so on a very general terms velocity is basically the average which are average amount of work a team can finish or complete in a given iteration so if we say a team's velocity is 10 that means you know they can complete 10 story points of work on an average in a sprint right so uh, we never say that you know uh, higher the velocity it's good for the team or the lower the velocity it's not good for the team it's all depend upon the kind of work the project team is doing the kind of composition the skill set the complexity the team is working on and velocity is something which is your intrinsic uh, value or the intrinsic characteristics right i mean um, it's it's the value which only this particular team can only use right no other team can use the velocity of a given team so this particular feature is telling like if we take the uh, velocity as 10 for the team so these will be the list of user story which can be which can be completed in the sprint 2 these are the set of user story which can be completed in the sprint 3 and on what basis it is saying that you know we can have four user story as part of sprint 2 uh, on the basis of this like you know we have 2 plus 1 that is 3 3 plus 3 is equal to 6 and then 3 9 so approximately is close to the amount of velocity that we have or the velocity we have right similarly if we see the uh, set of user story that it has placed for the sprint 3 so we can see 3 and 3 6 and 2 8 and then 9 and 10 so likewise it is showing that it is going to take approximately more than 10 sprints right i mean these are the items which are part of the sprint 10 so we can get an idea that you know let's say uh, so the velocity is of basically two types one is the planned velocity so for a new team we plan for a velocity right i mean we say okay uh, this much amount of work we can we can have for our team or during the sprint planning team commits for it and there's some sort of like planning and then there is a kind of actual velocity which is derived based on the average amount of work our team has finished in the past iteration so right now this is all about the planned velocity so for some teams let's say there is a team who are actually working on the sprints and they know their velocity so they can mention the velocity there or if we are doing the planning and we see that okay uh, we can we we were expecting that you know our team will be able can be can can be started using the velocity s10 so let's say if i say our team's velocity is going to be 15 and it's a new team and we are just planning so we can just enter 15 here so now we can see these are the set of user story that can be completed in the sprint 2 and we can see the number here 2 and 1 3 and 3 6 3 9 and 3 12 and 3 15 and these are the set of user story that can be completed in the sprint 3 and now the sprints that it will take is around 10 right so uh, this is how we can use the forecasting feature based on the velocity and please do not get confused the number that we should enter here is uh, will come from two scenarios if we know the team velocity we can enter the actual velocity and if we are planning a new work we can start with a planned velocity and once we realize okay now it's been three sprints now we know what is exactly is the team's velocity we can enter that number to see and predict the upcoming uh, number of sprints or the how much sprints will it take for the remaining work now another important thing is you know uh, it has identified okay these are the set of user story that we want to complete in the sprint 2 these are the set of user story that we want to complete in the sprint 3 but i mean how about you know the ordering right i mean we say okay uh, this thing we cannot do let's say the repo setup we cannot do in the sprint 2 so what we have to do is we can always drag it we can say we want to place it here so it will it will adjust right i mean if i if i turn the forecasting off so basically we have defined the order here 
right i mean th these are the orders that want we want to start first so forecasting it takes like you know uh, it will predict the number of sprints as well and if we see the ordering is not right we can always drag and drop right i mean if we say that you know add item to shopping cart we want to start in the sprint 3 so we can place it here so it will adjust right and we can see that uh, you know some of the items had have, have been uh, reshuffled so this is the use of forecasting feature in azure and uh, that's all in this video and uh, i i hope you guys liked it and uh, if you are new to my channel please do share and subscribe that will definitely help me in growing this channel as well as uh, it will motivate me to share more learning videos thank you thank you so much